Today we're going to do a quick phase runner setup video in our living rooms and we're going to use the phase runner software suite to auto-tune your motor. We're going to make sure we do it safely because the motor spins during auto-tune. And by the end of this video, hopefully you'll have your phase runner set up with your motor. The first thing we're going to do is download the phase runner software suite. So we're going to navigate to ebikes.ca, product info, clicking on the phase runner. And we're going to grab the software suite for Windows. Now start a download. Once that's finished, we just run self extractor. So to tune the phase runner to your motor, we need to make sure that the bike's in a safe configuration. What I'm gonna do is flip the bike over and make sure that the programming cable is not tangled with the pedals. So the programming port on the phase runner is this eighth inch jack. So we'll plug in the programming cable right into the jack there. Plug in the USB cable into your PC. Once you've got the USB cable installed successfully and plugged into your controller, with the controller turned on, you should see on the phase runner suite that a COM port appears at the top and that the controller is connected. There's a button right here that says auto tune. We're going to click that and it has kind of a basic setup wizard to go through each of the steps required to tune the motor controller to the motor. The first thing it's asking for is a KV constant, which is RPMs per volt of the motor, is how fast it's going to spin, and the correct number of pole pairs for the motor. And that's very important. You can go to the ebikes.ca website and go to that motor, and it will tell you what number of pole pairs are in the extra settings um, on the website. So this is 3005 rear cassette motor. I scroll here, there's a specifications tab. And it says right here, motor KV in our pamphlet volts is 11.1. Magnetic pole pairs here is 23. So we're going to enter that information into the phase runner suite. 11 and 23. And then we're going to press the launch static test button. And what you'll notice on the motor is that it will start to twitch and make a buzzing noise. And it'll do that three times. One. After that's complete, we can press the next button and go on to the next phase. Now, you can see there's a warning here. It requires to spin the motor for at least 15 seconds, and it's not possible to pause it during that test. So you should not be doing this test with the wheel on the ground in any way. Have it either in a bike stand or upside down as we have it here in the living room. And it should start spinning the wheel inside. Uh oh, the wheel's spinning backwards. So you can see here that because the cranks are turning as well, that means that the wheel's spinning backwards. There's a small checkbox here on the software and it says flip motor spin direction on next auto tune. So I've done that, pressed the button, I've launched the spinning test again, and we should see that the motor spins in the correct direction. Perfect. 